Welcome to another Let's Try. Uh, this time it's going to be... Dun, dun, dun. Cave Story 3D. I've had this for a long time. Never really dug into this. Um, it's uh, the Nether 3DS game here. It's uh, running on the Citra emulator and it's one of the games that actually are mentioned as a perfect uh, for compat compatibility, so that's nice. So yeah, let's just jump into it. I'm mean, very curious why it's normal difficulty here. Well, I wouldn't say it's perfect. There seems to be some little graphical with the text there, but overall good. Some cool music going on here. So if you don't know, I have played Cave Story Plus on PC, and uh, one of the games that I overall really loved. Definitely a, quite a challenge to get through the final part. <laughs> um, and nothing's really perfect, but it's really high up there with the game that I really find it so enjoyable. So this is like the, you know, 3D version, but more 2.5D. Right, you can see here. So you only have like manual saving. Oops. But yeah, it's more of a 2.5D, you know, it has some 3D and like background but you move in 2d um, it's much easier on the normal cave story plus to just see where you can go um, but it has an interesting style so far here runs great uh, no complaints with performance Whee! first life cells upgrade uh, like the music. Uh, there's no option, right? No, you can't change the music. This is pretty true to... Uh, pretty true to how you start the first original 2D game. Um, bit of a floaty movement here. and uh, Yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna do... Um, Play through this. It depends. You never know. But I wanted to give it a good, solid let's try. Uh, I do know this. Uh, I think I read that some think this is. They don't really like this, and some do like it. There isn't a true one-to-one -one, like conversion. I find correctly. Um, I think this is a you know a remake. They might have changed a few things up here and there. But so far, it feels very, you know, very true to the original. I like the music, I like the new style of it. Uh, it is just, uh, it makes it just a little bit, uh, you know, just a tiny bit less precise. The jumping uh, when you have this 2.5D, uh, you know, to exactly see that this is the edge, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, well, maybe. Maybe the final part isn't fine. I don't know. <laughs> and if you don't know the original game, right? These ones uh, will get you upgrade your gun. You can upgrade it in three stages by the more... The more you... The more of these you get. And if you get hit, you take... Uh, all oh, right, an introduction. If you get hit, it will drop this one down, so you have to like upgrade your gun again. You can randomly draw health or, you know, this one. Uh, so far, no upgrade. This red or spikes, I know that, so that will hurt. <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of interesting. 
right and you can do a manual saving not that you need it uh, right now but you got to be very careful in a game like this right if you don't do this uh, saving well you will go back quite you can go back quite uh, quite far um i wonder what classic mode is for gamer i might have to try that there's no auto fire you have to mash for this game And this actually is <laughs> the one and only door that has uh, like, uh, yeah, that is an enemy. And this is the second two of this upgraded weapon. And the door is in uh, the original 2D version also, so that's why I knew it was. And the story will kind of unfold slowly, you don't really know what's happening here beginning so I'm not gonna spoil it if you haven't played this or any of the case story games the mega village give me the key <laughs> it has a kind of you know the, the the PC version it's kind of bright and you know the color scheme is uh, it, it's an easy but like it has very bright colors if you get the white but here they seem to be have a darker tone And I know, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. I know since I... There we go. That's all. Okay, since I played the original, I know that this is your main way to go. But if you don't know, um, you, you pretty much gotta go around explore a lot in the game. Oops, no. No, no, no. I think we need to do... You can't breed for unlimited time. Uh, you see you have a limited air meter. There we go. But yeah, you can uh, go around, you talk to characters, and you kind of get a few clues here and there. I also think that I, in the 2D version, that I accidentally somehow softlocked the game? <laughs> in some weird way. Uh, not sure if it's possible in this one to do the same thing. Yeah, you can see and you have something down below. Oops. Yeah, you can't really skip the text, right? No. Uh. Yeah, yeah. But you can see there's something glowing in the bottom here. Bottom left. Oh. Now we gotta run. Run, do, do, do. A bit scary start, right? <laughs> what? So far, it feels like this is just getting a steady 60 frames per second and no stuttering. I have had no problem or anything here. Uh, on Ryzen, AMD Ryzen 5600X, and... <laughs> and the RTX 3070, and the RTX 3070 isn't, you know, isn't working hard or anything. Whee! So, we, we see them discussing something about the key, and... Auto sounds, and here we can see... Locked, might need a key. Oh, all right, I cannot the um, whoop, no, yeah, okay, there we go, yeah, this, this is a nice style, but, 
the 2.5D is making a little bit of uh, pump platform here more interesting. <laughs> Right, so you, you can kind of get the hint, she has the keys, and then blah blah blah. This is really fun and grabbing a few of 3DS games here. I wonder, you know, what this platform, um, you know, more, more cool gems that might be missed. Uh, do, 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 do. Because it has a, you know, the 3DS here, it does offer quite a nice graphical fidelity, so... Um... Yeah. Playpoint. You can go and explore. I know where to go, but let's explore it quickly. Yeah, I don't remember if you could get... Yeah, I think you can get an extra... And a health upgrade. Whee! So far I like this uh, a lot. Uh, just like the first one. And I think it has this kind of pandemonium, you know, the kind of the early 2.5D style where it kind of wraps around a little bit and stuff like that, so, yeah. I do uh, think 2.5D games are really nice. Here we can get... Upgrade. For the life. That's gonna be necessary. Whee! Oops. But there you see, that's... Uh, that here it is, like, where is the edge? And where is it, uh, you know... <laughs> dropping off because the angles here in 2.5D makes some of the precise jumping a little bit more imprecise. Uh, again, this is probably a game where I could just switch Citrat to be displaying a uh, single window screen layout. Uh, blah blah blah. Large screen. Um, <laughs> large screen, single, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, exactly, I could probably do this, and that, let me, okay, so I can only get, yeah, four guys, uh, there we go, the tiny black board bars there, and then I can get the inventory and that. I don't know. I think I like this large screen layout here. If I can quickly know if there is something important being played on the smaller one, but you have the options. Um, you know what? I don't think I need to do that. But you have the option to, you know, obviously just have one screen, and you can also undock them, I believe, so you can have them separate. Single window mode, full screen screen layout, uh, side by side, Se oh yeah yeah, separate window, there we go, oh, that's cool. <laughs> so you can have two screens, okay, uh, OBS uh, isn't really loving that, so... Oops, sorry for the delay. Back to the back to the game. I was uh, thinking, I, if I could, you, I probably can do it with some kind of uh, OBS trickery. Uh, so I can capture both uh, just the main window, but I can have the other one being visible to me not to you guys. Uh, I might try that if I if there is a game that I want to go for like a do 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 like a full playthrough next time. Uh, I guess sell the games or something like that could be beneficial by that.
There are also really cool things if you haven't played this game that the secrets are kind of intrigue <laughs> to do. And uh, some really interesting uh, weapon upgrading system also. Not just the level up system, but also pure up. Ooh, I made that. Uh, but yeah, also you have um, whoop, you have a uh, weapon upgrade system. Let's just uh, say that we don't want to spoil too much. Here we go. Okay, you got the map. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, that's nice, right? This is perfect uh, for the 3DS, having the map on the separate screen there. Ooh. So this is the map, obviously. You can have this as a big uh, side screen window here. Um, using Citra, so that is really awesome. That's definitely one of the powers with, uh, you know, emulators, and especially for something like this, you get so many cool options that can bring extra quality of life to your old games. No! Level down! Okay, I had to. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna focus here too much on the story, but I know it, so... Um, I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing a full playthrough of this, since I already have done the, the 2D PC version on the, the channel, so... Ooh, pendant! Alright. Yeah, you get key items, you interact with people, and that's kind of how you can progress the story. You go around talking to try to see what do people want me, you know, to help them or to do something and at the same time you kind of slowly get a bit of the story here pushed along until you get uh, quite far in the game right it's still kind of mysterious uh, story but this was a part of the charm You can see the some who is getting kidnapped. Here we have the first boss. So here's the kind of cool things coming up here, right? You get choices, and uh, some of the choices uh, might have a big impact, and some have a small. If you say no here, here is keeping the first boss fight. Uh, and some of the choices you do might impact what kind of um, ending you will get for the game. I'm not gonna explore too much spoiling there again. Um, but I could probably see myself going to uh, through this game uh, another time on this. <laughs> Because so far it seems really fun, but maybe I should have gone for easy mode to just quickly try to last through this to see this game, what it has to offer. And then you, you know, you wander around and you try to locate what to do. There's no super clear story thing that's telling you, you must do this. But you have to like, you know, go around and find that. Just by speaking to them another time, uh, you know, a second time, a third time, and that kind, you know, things might have happened. Since you caused an option, you know, which change uh, other NPCs and how they are gonna interact with you. So now you can just go in here if you want to, but... 
We're not really supposed to be in here yet. And this is cool. Can I help you? There's a little dude. It might be really tricky to see, but there is a little dude running around there. And... Uh, a bad death. Oops. Might be a bad death. Yet. Okay, let's just speed run this then. Right, I so to do. Because again, manual saving, so this wasn't saved. It's that it did look like I had a map though. Even though I shouldn't have. Inventory. So, can I? Um, not sure how to. Might have to remap some things here. Yeah, probably. Uh, or maybe later on. Let's not do anything about that now. But there is an inventory that I couldn't swap to now. It could just be that I, uh, it's not possible to do that so, so far. Um, because I don't have a lot of inventory. Well, I do have the, the pendant here. Uh, it, <clears throat> it's not important uh, right now anyway. So I might have to just double check my key bindings here for my controller. Now that we can get the correct swap in there. So this is the charm and the terrifying reality of manually saving. You might have to redo quite a lot if you mess up, because I wasn't thinking that I would... <laughs> Uh, die to that simple, simple uh, part of the game. Ooh, I almost uh, pressed the uh, fight there. Right. So the clue is that you, you know, that he goes into this place and you might follow. Two keys, alright. Luca has one of them. Get inside me. Okay, inside the cemetery. The one being taken that she trying to King was trying to protect. Now we're supposed to go in. I think you could have done this before. That's why I went to this uh, place. But let's... Ooh. Let's skip. Maybe you can't kill that dude, so... Skip. Is the key supposed to be inside here? And you have this glowing thing here. Blue me a hero, Arthur. Oh, and you got the key. And you know, if you've tried to interact with doors, you know where that is. Okay to that, so. Yeah, this is cool if you see this little dude. And that's like a, just a little clue for some stuff you can do ahead in the game. Let's just leave it at that. So now you can go to Arthur's house. Whee!
There is a PC remaster kind of thing, a little bit of a remake uh, happening. Fan made. Uh, hope that's gonna come into play really soon. I kind of know. I I did yeah I did show that one off um, as my wee as my playthrough options. In a life capture, that's a sneaky little one. Oh shit! I probably should save now <laughs> because uh, the life capsules is uh, definitely what I do wanna not lose. But that's there we go. We. Mission to teleport. Oh, there we go. You have to activate it. Teleporter. And the corridor. And I think this is one of the more bopping soundtracks right now here. Are you coming? There actually is. Ooh, here I see another health, and that is uh, rough due to get hit by. That's insta kill. But this I want. Yeah, nice music. Wee. Probably could teleport back maybe and save. Um, and that's. Uh, That's just if you want to uh, be safe side here. Because th there, uh, there is a possibility that you might lose your health if you... Your capture will have to redo it. So uh, this can be faster and this can be slower, obviously, depending on... <laughs> depending on how good you are at this game part. But if it is the first time, it might be a good thing to go back and save here. All oh, right, there is a dude up here. Can I? No. There you go. Right, some mysterious dude. Telling me that uh, an insta kill. Oh, that's an enemy, right? Ooh. Ah. Yeah, the darker style here is interesting and let's make kind of change the vibe of the oh i did not see you a little bit of a vibe change to the game i would say not as terrible or anything but i don't know i think it would have been it would have been fun if you had uh, maybe a little bit more brighter colors. This is upgraded fully. Change that. Oh, right. These uh, enemies, they kind of hide in a 2.5D space there. <laughs> Here you are, monster. Oops. Oh my god! Wait, right, there is this uh, thing up there. How do you get there? in this part right here we have the save points are pretty good hello little weirdo <laughs> it 
Soldier from the surface. Here we get a little bit more store. Oh, blonde pal. Lost your memory. Uh, here we come into jumps that might be tricky to do. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Um, those jumps might be a little bit trickier to do on a 2.5D. Uh, I believe is it is it a missile upgrade? Yes, there's missiles in this uh, game. Oh, it's a life capsule. I want it. I'm gonna get it. But the, yeah, I can definitely see that this precise platforming um can be more of a a little bit of more of a challenge or annoyance depending on what you. Oh, wow, what do you want to go for? <laughs> it uh, with the camera warping and oh, definitely with uh, the three D view, it makes it a little bit more challenge to just precisely jump. And I'm gonna be taking it really safe. Yes, because I do not want to lose those. If I'm for some reason gonna, if I might continue this in one way or another, we'll see. I might want to have this help raised. Go down here. Run! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, that's a pretty one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I think one has some missile upgrades. Open the track. There we go. Oh, oh, that's the ID card. color scheme a little bit or something here to make it a little bit more easier to see. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, okay. I did not remember exactly where to go here. Yeah, not too crazy. If I have my save file, I do need the ID card, right? Because there is definitely a place where you can get a missile upgrade. And it could be fun to have. You're gonna need this ID card, but you don't get to know that until later, unless you know you played this game before, if I remember correctly. Slower. Okay. 
need this one. Is there a healing station here? Might be. You get the missile launcher, right? Yeah. You can see here that there are two that are red. Number six, abnormal. Number six, and I do believe this one also, right? Doesn't say that, okay. Oh, wait a minute. So if you go in here, you will know that you should check out the egg number six and that has the ID card in it. Uh, clever little thing. I can switch between the weapons. This is my shooter, pea shooter, that is my missile launcher. And if you you can up, also upgrade the missile missile launcher by using it uh, by collecting this one. Uh, we nothing in here. Oh, hallelujah! Hello. Cannot do oh there we go. Yes, we want this one. Uh the question is yes I can keep going. But could I enter the previous oops? I do wonder, could I have entered this one? Probably not. No. no I don't think so. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> uh. It's a pretty decent save here, so... was more clear how to enter the egg in uh, the PC2 version. They were mo they looked more cracked. Um, so yeah, it, I feel definitely feel that like tweaking of like the color scheme and some textures would have been good. Yes, I need to open. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oof. Need to open this one. How do I do that? Uh, maybe I do it in this one? There is a... Um... Yeah, right. This one? Here we go. Okay. Shield removed. I forgot about that. Yeah, you can do uh, which like upgrade. Ooh, ah. No, what? There we go.
Um. than I was thinking and were remembering. No. Won't open. Egg zero. You go back, that's what you do, and you can heal up. Uh, oh, right, your missiles will also be refilled. Uh, da -dun 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 -dun. Unfortunately, my gun is. <laughs> it's uh, really been demoted. Oh, thank God. That's exactly what we needed. Ah! Oops. <laughs> um. Ah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's some health. Ooh. It's kinda a rough matching a lot. You will get a gun that you don't have to match with. Um, yeah, this first one, uh, you really ask. You fire faster, you more you mash. A little bit uh, crazy. Do, 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 do. Level up. Okay. It is a cool uh, upgrade system. Uh, did I mess up? Can I not go? Would like level three upgrade. 
also making a quite a nice difference in damage output, getting level 3, so... Oh, okay, they could fly too. I definitely feel that the graphics here makes it a little bit more difficult and elegant. You know, the color scheme and everything that they are going for. Uh, just a tiny bit more challenging just to spot enemies and hit enemies. Uh, unfortunately. Oh my god. I will not get my level up here. Some health, that's also good. Don't need a missile, I have full missile. Oh, that's Controls also are a little bit uh, interesting because you can you do small jumps or long jump, and uh, I haven't tweaked my. You know, let's let's do that quickly, and I cannot do that. Damn it! All right. Uh, whoop. I wanted to just see if I could do something here. Let me see, I'm gonna just quickly try something. Uh -huh. Edit layout. There we go, so this one should be... Y button and... This should be B button. There we go. Hopefully this will work. No, I did it the wrong way around. Yeah. Ah, okay. Sorry. Tweaking my one. Oh, wow, bumpers. Oh, bumpers. I did it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see what I did. Bumpers and... Right bumper and left. Left grip is higher. Why? Uh, I also want it to be turbo. I want it to be maximum turbo power. <laughs> and I want jump to be set to that one. There we go. Let's get back into it. It would just be much more easier here, right? Yeah, yeah. fire did not work. What? I do not like the new uh, team controller layout the UI. It is bad. I want to repeat turbo fire, sure. And it's not working. I don't understand why, but it, for some reason this UI is just uh, so weird. Uh, doesn't work in many games, uh, how everything is just set up. 
Okay, now we got turbo. I, I did nothing really weird here. But we have a turbo fire. Good. Do a little bit of long and let's try. It's just fun showing this one off. Right, connecting to network. Bzzz. Chatting, online chatting. Quick loading times. Suma. Structure D. <laughs> Some light humor also, that's nice. to go out or not maybe i do need to speak more there's a ton of cuts in coming here yeah this feels like a solid uh, solid you know which port here? Uh, 3DS port. There we go, and now I think the teleport might work. I don't know if the teleport works before or not. Maybe it does. Uh, but I'm gonna do a safety save if there is a... This is your house, right? It's locked. So he needs a key. And you are a weirdo. <laughs> right. Let's see. 
Ah, uh, yeah. This uh, feels much better when I tweak the controls a little bit. Oh, right, I should do this. I got the key. <laughs> I'm trying to upgrade my missiles also. Uh, can I do one thing before? Uh, ooh, that's nice. Uh, I think there is... I don't remember exactly. I think it's up here? Yeah, I think so. Uh, this way? Yes, I want this one. We have the keys, we're gonna help Santa. <laughs> We get a new weapon here. We need to go to the fireplace and... Yeah, what do we need to do for fireplace? I think this just heals me up, right? Yeah. That's how you did it, I forgot. Um, so, we need something to put the fire out in the fireplace. And if you know, there actually is... Um, uh, there is actually something... A fireplace in the first area we were, we were in. Alright, oh, yeah, 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 I think we need to know. We need to, to activate the something first before we can do this. So if I press that. Okay, so pressing that will give me that. Did 
these nice little different guns that you can get. Hello? I think you need to do... Yeah, 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 okay. There we go, we need this one to three here. It's a little bit of an easter egg, so we're not gonna discuss, but... <clears throat> yeah, something interesting going on here. Um, the, we have the fireballs equipped. Do I want... Fish. Ooh, that's not good. It's nice though that uh, you have these uh, weapons that wow, that actually work pretty good with you know. <laughs> Oh, this is... Ah. So, I remember that you're supposed to do this. Oh. And the jellyfish user. So now you can go um, to the right. I'm gonna do a quick little thing here. I'm just curious if I remember correctly here. So you see a fire place, right? Yo. Yes, there's something within the ashes. All right, we need this for later, I believe. So this is uh, fine. Uh, yes, saving is quick. Now we need to clear out. This one again. Ooh. And this one. But I think this is a quick way to do it. Whoa. And we get some more jellyfish. We 
you. We because now we can do. Oh, let's. Uh, you should really save, uh, especially in your first playthrough here, right? Uh, save a little bit of an extra. Yes. Perfect. Um. So now we are on the other side here. Oh, right, I forgot that. He fires a uh, little fireball. Oh, that's an. Uh, Thing. Oh, a light capsule. Ooh. It's locked. Do, 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 do. Oh. I wanted to go here. See you. Just a quick little save here. So every time you save, um, your enemies will respawn. Obviously, something you need to be aware of. Oh. Someone's is doubting. In the rusty key. What we're gonna do now is um let's see can i get the yeah it's good i want my missile upgrade to be safe so it's very easy here to think that you should just go to the right uh did you unless you have explored a little bit or played a little bit more but i believe it is the left we are supposed to go to actually this way this little rusted rusted place and i think there is a boss coming up sure. turning on power uh oh. Uh -oh.
Took a little bit too much damage there, but I remember him being pretty easy there. Now you can torture the robot. It's been crushed in. I do believe you have to do this to <laughs> progress the story, but who knows? And now he's gonna tell me how to do a bomb and what I need to. Oh wait, I need uh... Alright. I have that, but I need jellyfish. Here we go, so I need the jellyfish use. But now we get this. Ooh. Yeah, come on. We So jellyfish is to the left, I think the gum base is to the right. Could have used my missiles, I'm guessing. Oh guessing, not guessing, I could have used my missiles on the boss there. So what we need to do is... Whee! There we go. Sometimes activating the the wrong, like using the missile. All the other guns, you know, they have infinite ammo, uh, except for except for uh, the missile. So it's a shame it isn't a separate button. Uh, oh, did, 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 did I miss? The, let's see. There we go. So we want to do this. There we go. And now we go the other way back again. So those spikes I believe is insta-kill, so you gotta be... Be careful with those. These red ones. There is a yum coming up that is more brutal. <laughs> so we're gonna save. We're gonna go to the right. And there is going to be quite a challenge yump coming up. Whee! Okay. The gum. Oh, right. We need this. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so lucky I did this. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do more. Okay. Oh, there's a door up here. Been a, a little bit while, so trying to remember everything is fine. Open the treasure chest. I think this is a. Uh, Enemy coming here? No? Yes? Yeah. It is. Oh! There we go. Whew. Okay, so we have the missile upgrade. The problem is there's no save point here, right? So if I... Oh! Whee! No! 
<laughs> Come on. No, I don't think I can get all the way. Uh... I do believe we can go in this place. Right, so we want to do... Oh. oh, I saw my problem just one second too soon. Oh, man. Ah. God damn it. Damn it. Come on. So, where did I get the... Uh... Yeah, can I? Okay, so that's saved. That's good. So what we need is do that again. Okay, so all the, okay, yeah, yeah, all the upgrades I get is saved, not just the key items or interacting with those, but yeah. These are upgrades, live upgrades I believe might be saved. the wrong way okay uh, let's see will it spawn again I believe you did not do that damn it let's try this again I believe you take down the first. Got it. And you can go up here. There we go. The biggest problem is if I die now, I lose this. <laughs> Which is a strong possibility of happening. I don't remember exactly where the save is, but it's... I believe the save is a little bit away. Yeah, you cannot get up there. Okay. Okay, there is a save. Ooh. We need this save. This jump is one of the trickier, actually. Okay, so that's just... Oh, crap. Okay. Damn it. Ooh. Try this again. Ooh. Okay, the knight made this jump a slight ease. Here or not. But yeah, this is the trickiest jump uh, because it's insta death under. So, this little jumping here that we do is a good uh, checkpoint here. Ah, uh, yeah. This freaking jump, man. 
I believe there is a boss in here. And we got the gun base. Is this a longer let's try? That's fine. I, it's just a, such a fun game here overall. I might maybe just do uh, like yeah, two hour videos here trying to just yeah, speed run through this again. Because I don't know, it is a really. It's definitely really such a good game. Fun to see this. Uh... Oh no. It's fun to try this out again. Since I do have played this, I have a decent speed and on the normal, so I might just do the playthrough here. We have to see, not not the kind of the too super crazy ending, but just a normal ending, maybe, um, or or up till uh, one of the final boss there, because uh, <laughs> the final boss is quite rough. Save point. No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, he's anxious to get out. So I think it's a good idea to probably. I need to do it. That's good. <laughs> oh, right. This do you have all the material? Fish and gun base, and now I will have a bomb. I'll start to pl uh, play through off this one. I'm not gonna guarantee that it will be finished. It depends on how. So far, it's just really nice and fun, and the platforming works and everything. Um, but since I have played the game and it's very similar, uh, <laughs> don't. If I get to a place where it feels weird or uh, they change too much, or if it gets the platform gets. Uh, kind of funky or something, you know, I'm not gonna feel inclined to really push through it. As long as it is this uh, nice little 
memory thing here, experience. Uh, I'll go, I'll continue at the start of playthrough. Ready yet? Alright, so we do use it here. Loading. Boom. Because there is definitely towards the end where there is a more precise platforming and stuff and in 2.5D it could be a little bit tricky and not as fun challenge. <laughs> if I get to something like that I might just... Uh, oh, but I think I can go pretty far without that being a problem. Hello? Since I know all of the stories since I played through this game like three, four times, uh, the normal at least. And um, can I speed through this a little bit? I apologize for that. Something about red flower, they're kidnapping uh, the niggas. Now, going for a zoo. The doctor is gonna start a war using some red powerful flowers to turn Mimigas into powerful weapons for him. Creatures. And we should go back. Nice uh, key point here. go back to the Mimiga village, try to stop the evil doctor that is kidnapping them and experimenting on them with red flowers. Still don't know a lot of me except that I'm some kind of soldier from up top. Hopefully we get back to the village without taking too much damage. Oh, that's bad. That's why we save. All we need to do is just go out. And redo a little bit here. Shouldn't be too much loss. Would like a quicker skip. There we go. I don't know if you can skip the dialogue quicker or not. What would be what is missing? slipped off again. Damn. Yeah, this is definitely where it can be a little bit interesting with this new floaty mechanic and uh, <laughs> and 2.5D view. It can make it a little bit more, you know, challenging. Boom. Zoom. It won't stop! Okay, let's try this again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, I got 
thrown up. Uh, there we go. Oh. It's fine, we are going to get uh, a different means to not have to use... Uh, not have to use uh, those kind of bit of more. What are you Oh, yeah, the fan. We don't have to use them uh, going a bit forward later on, so it's going to be easier. Does she say anything new to me? I don't think so, right? There is a save point though. But why not if I mess up? Uh, we are going to do We're gonna try to take out the yellow fish Because if you remember there was one as I mentioned uh, do -do -do -do. There was one little fireplace in the beginning of the game, and uh, we get a weapon, if I'm correctly, from that. I don't think he says anything new, right? <laughs> yeah, new. We go to the teleporter. That's the crashed uh, vehicles. Oh, that one, right? It's, it's a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit less noticeable in 2.5D. So far, it feels very true to its original game. That's fun. And now we're going to back to the Mimiga village, and there is a fireplace that I believe there is another weapon or upgrade. Now they are going to discuss that they are being used for weapons. Using some kind of experimental red flowers. As a booster. All oh, right, that's a fitting name if you play this. Yeah. Leader of the pack. Here comes the soldier.
fast, and so... Stand zone is a dangerous place, we need to destroy the flowers. Do, 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 do. They're gonna send the soldier. Oh right, now I remember the sand zone. Yeah, so I'm a robot from the surface. There's been some kind of big war up top. We are going to the sand zone, but... Um, See, there was a fireplace up top, right? This way, I think you get the bubble gum, bubble gun. <laughs> I don't remember if there was more jellyfish that we could use for something. Now we have. I'm not sure how powerful this is gonna be. I don't remember it. I don't think I used it a lot. So maybe I shouldn't have gotten this gun actually. It might have been uh, unnecessary. I could. But I do get. Yeah, I, maybe I shouldn't have gotten this gun actually. It might actually be worse for me because it's easier to swap gun without it. So I could just. You know what? I, I made I made a mistake. Now I'm gonna commit to it. Um. <laughs> uh, but I'm probably not gonna use the bubble gun for anything. Let's see if I can upgrade it. But yeah, probably I'm not gonna use it at all, which just means it's oh oh, it's uh, pretty much useless for me. Or slippery platforms. Uh, da, 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 da. There is actually one fun thing coming up. We can get the super powerful weapon that might be really useful for the end. Um, or we can get the weapon that's gonna be super useful up until the end. So we're gonna have a fight going on here. I don't know what I want to do here. Um, because, yeah. So she's, she thinks I'm evil, that's why she's fighting us. Now she knows we're not, so she's our friend. So is she a robot too? A soldier there? Max life increase, that's nice. Yeah, I don't know what I wanna do here. So if we if we will get um, upgraded here. Um uh, sorry for this. 
Ooh, yeah, very sorry for that. Uh, uh huh. Trying just to quickly look, what gun do I get if I do not get that one? Um, Polar Star? Mean Gun? Spur? The Spur is the finished version of the Polar Star. It is one of the highest amount of damage which is shing as hard. By giving blah 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 blah. Uh... Okay, exactly. <laughs> hmm. This is a really nice kick laser. That is a really powerful one. Um, I really like the machine gun also. what we are going to go with machine gun sorry for this i had to refresh my memory but we're gonna go with, so this is gonna help me a ton um pretty much making me uh, a bit of fly almost we can say Oh, I need it to be upgraded, right. It has to be upgraded before, before I can do anything. Uh, we can health refill. But yeah, if you have the level 3 uh, in gun, you can float. Oh! Oh, right, I need to talk to you guys out here first, right? You? There we go. That, that's what I wanted to. We need the doggos. Yes! There we go. I'm gonna play a little bit more, then I'm gonna take a break. But I'm gonna continue this. It's just... It, it, it's fun trying this and uh, seeing it in a little bit more different modern lights. Um, Now the problem is not sure, entirely sure which way I'm supposed to go. Is this way or if it is the other way I'm supposed to go here? So we're gonna take to see if we can get it. 
might have to do that. Whoa! Damn, I messed up so bad. Okay, we're gonna have to... Oof. Yeah, uh, that's probably better to do that. So I can maybe try this again. <laughs> um, I could use my more powerful gun, but I want to upgrade this. That's why I'm using this one. Uh, not upgrade, level up. There is something right up on that one. Uh, did I get it? Oof. That's a save point. Okay, so I might have to do that. Ah, whoa, what? Uh, okay, so you, maybe I can do... Yes, there we go. Perfect. Because I want my uh, capsule to be saved. the dose. I think there is a uh, health up. No, maybe not. How do we get... Do we get that one? Well, right, you can do... 
Oh! Whoa! I did not see that one. Come on. I could really use... <laughs> That held. Let's see if I can get to the boss and then end this video here. Uh, like 5 or 10 minutes, so... Okay. What we can do is we can go... like to upgrade this but it takes a quite a uh, quite some time it's a big difference though it's a lot more powerful but we need I believe still level three to maybe to float We have health, so let's... This is uh, exactly what I wanted to go here as well. I think this is the wrong gun for this. It's a good place to stop here and take a break. Yeah, and get back. Uh, no, what that does. Oh god, I forgot about that. Shit. Thank you. Oh! Uh, it's, it will open a place on this other side. Let's go and open it up. I really, really like level 3. I can fly. Yeah, I like that one up again.
So this will open up and we're gonna go down and we're gonna collect a few dogs maybe and then try to... there we go. I believe there is a dog in here and then I hit the save point. Do -do -do. I'm not gonna do all the dogs right now. There we go. This is a tricky one to get, but we are gonna go on a dog collecting mission. We we'll collect a few till we we'll get till a uh, safe one. We're definitely going for like all the dogs, almost once, I believe. Um, yeah, I think it's a good breaking point here, so let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get Level 3! Yeah! Wait a minute... Uh, did I miss... Uh, uh, oh, is it this way? This way? Yeah, I think it's a save point in here. Perfect. Uh, nice little breaking point. Yes, uh, let's talk first. <laughs> yeah, and they're gonna take over the surface, alright. That's why they are trying to create an army. Right? Uh, okay, I have saved. I, I'm just gonna have a quick peek up here because I feel like I did get... I just really feel that I did get this doggo, right? And I only have one dog at a time in this version. Oh my god, that sucks. Okay, so I can only have one dog at a time. Okay, let's go and save here. This is a trick one to, for, to miss, so... I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna, you know, as I mentioned, I will play... Do at least another video here. It's really fun. It's very true to its original. Um... So they use this to protect from the robots from the surface, the Mimigas. Now... Hmm. Whee! Yeah, here we're gonna stop. And I used the... Uh, new. Well, there we go. Exit game, yes. We're gonna stop here. I'm gonna do more of this. It's been really fun. Cave Story 3D for Nintendo 3DS, and uh, yeah, runs great on the Citra emulator. Um, it's a nice little visual upgrade from the original, uh, even though I wish they would have gone for a more brighter color palette. I think it's more fitting, actually. And 
But other than that, music, controls, uh, really nice. Some of the 3D, 2.5 3D background things, I could maybe tweak to make uh, some things better, but overall it's a really great one. And just the uh, Cave Story, you know, for PC or any consoles or like the 3D version, so forth is a really great game. Uh, you know, you explore a little bit, you get a little story, you have some cool toys that affect your guns or what uh, story, story ending and stuff like that you get, so... Yeah, stay tuned for more, you know, you can like, comment, uh, check back to the channel, follow, or, you know, if nothing else, have a great day. Hope to see you in the future. Uh, bye!